Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. I just finished a video for Field Day 2020 where I packed all the gear I'm planning on taking uh, with me on my backpack. And to do that, I had to take down my uh, ATOS 25 vertical antenna that I actually use for my shack. Uh, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys how I set that up. Uh, that was the first 30 seconds of this video. Uh, but then how I actually tune it, and then I am going to go ahead and do a benchmark comparison against my Rig Expert AA35 Zoom and my new Nano uh, VNA. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, before we get into that, um, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, giveaway. And like I said, I'm trying to grow the channel. I appreciate every sub, every view, every like, every comment. Uh, but I realized that I may have been neglecting uh, the prepper side of the house. Uh, I've been focusing on the ham radio stuff um, for a bit now. So what I want to do is offer the option to the winner when we hit 200 to either win my other complete inboxed Nano VNA or the high-speed gear uh, double-decker uh, magazine pouch. And this will accept uh, 5.56.223 magazine on the back and pistol magazine on the front. Uh, I bought three to replace the uh, GI uh, surplus mag pouches I have in my plate carrier, but I thought, you know what, it might be a good opportunity to uh, do with two and give somebody else uh, my third one for now. All right, so uh, getting back to uh, the comparison between the Rig Expert and the Nano VNA. So one obviously is price. So I went with the Rig Expert AA35 Zoom, and that was mostly because I was sensitive to price and I was mainly focused on working with HF. So that gives me basically the entire HF band up to 35 uh, megahertz, which is fine for me. Um, and that ran about, I think, 200 or $250 for that unit. Um, I had looked at the AA600, which takes you um, all the way up to 600 megahertz, so it would cover me on uh, VHF and UHF, uh, but that was upwards of $500 and just seemed excessive. So um, while I love the Rig Expert Zoom, I love the quality, the durability. Uh, for me, the size is just a little bit too big for traveling, and um, I really can't use it for VHF, UHF. Um, the Nano VNA, on the other hand, uh, is 50 bucks. Um, it's not as durable, but I can afford to replace these a few times if they break in the field. Then I'll try to take uh, good care of them and use the plastic carrying case that it comes in. Uh, but what I like about it is that my antenna system uh, allows me with one feed line to work VHF, UHF, and one portion of the uh, HF uh, uh, frequency. And um, this was the first time I was actually able to test uh, the uh, SWR on my ATOS 25 for 2 meter and 70 centimeter. So I love it for that. Um, I was also able for the very first time to test my diamond antenna for my Yesu handheld here. This is the FT60R. And I can do the same types of tests for my whip antennas for my Baofangs as well. Uh, so super happy with it. I think whoever ends up winning this is really going to enjoy it. Um, I have not unlocked the full set of uh, features on this. Um, I'm just really interested in the SWR for right now. Um, I will be experimenting with uh, looking at um, at cable loss and determining cable lengths. Uh, but for right now, SWR is why I bought this. So this may be what I end up packing out for Field Day 2020. Um, again, not going to go into a review. There are two channels that um, were fantastic in terms of giving me the deep dive for calibrating this. Uh, one was the Smoke and Ape. Uh, he's got a whole playlist. I'll put the uh, link below in the description. And the other one was the Ham Radio Crash Course uh, Hashnazi. And I'll put his uh, video down below as well. So uh, before we cut to the demo where we'll uh, tech, tune and test the SWR readings, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh yeah. So uh, the next video I'm planning on doing is to do a uh, quick land navigation video. Uh, there's a peak behind me called Chinaman's Hat, or the locals call it uh, Titty Mountain, uh, for obvious reasons. 
and uh, I want to test out a new compass. I'm uh, a new Sunto compass uh, for that. Um, and I also want to experiment with doing a lighter version of my tarp shelter. So I ordered on Amazon a really cheap uh, grommet set for like seven bucks. And it has the tools and a handful of grommets. And I'm going to take a hev heavy mill trash bag and I'm going to see if I can actually make a, a lighter weight version that still protects you from the elements just using a heavy mill trash bag and some um, hand inserted grommets. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. All right, guys, uh, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. Uh, we're going to cut the, to the demo in a second. So be strong, be safe, and be prepared. All right, guys, so this is the Rig Expert AA35 Zoom, and we've just put together the ATOS 25 antenna. So let's take a quick SWR reading. So we'll turn on the power, and we'll go to SWR chart. And I already have it set to sweep uh, pretty much most of the amateur radio band up to the 10 meter band. Uh, so I'm basically going to start at, do start at 14.7 uh, megahertz and then do plus or minus 14 megahertz. And we'll just click OK. And you can see right now our SWR reading is 4.2. Um, at 28 megahertz. So I'll just need to make a couple uh, of adjustments uh, with the loading coil on the ATOS 25. And like I said, that's just a manually tuned antenna. You can make coarse grained adjustments just by uh, moving up the, uh, the coil. Um, the higher up you go, the lower in the HF frequency you go. Uh, right now I pretty much have it all the way at the bottom of, of the base. So uh, I'm probably going to bring it up a couple clicks and then we'll just do some micro adjustments by turn, turning it either uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, and I brought it up about uh, three clicks and we'll go ahead and do another sweep. And you can see we're about 2.9 uh, SWR. And uh, I think I'll probably bring it up another three clicks and we'll see how we do. All right, one more sweep. All right, 1.61. Um, I have been able to get this as low as 1.1 SWR. Hey, good morning, guys. So this is the uh, Nano VNA, and we're gonna do a comparison between the readings we got from the Rig Expert AA35 Zoom. And uh, I'm not gonna go into how I calibrated this. I'm gonna link you to two excellent videos that I used on YouTube. One was from the Smoke and Ape, and the other one was from the Ham Radio Crash Course. And I did two saved calibrations. Uh, the first one that you're seeing is just for sweeping the 10 meter band. And then the second one I'll show you is sweeping the two meter and 70 centimeter band. So as you can see, we're seeing the same reading in the upper left hand corner. We're getting an SWR of about 1.68, which is roughly where we were with the Zoom uh, rig experts. So I'm really happy that we can have some confidence in this device and the readings. The one feature that I now have that I didn't have before with the Rig Expert Zoom is the ability to also test my antennas on VHF, UHF for things like my Handy Talkie, but also the ATOS 25, uh, the antenna that we set up uh, just before uh, we started taking readings. Uh, actually works with VHF, UHF, and uh, one of the bands on HF uh, without doing any kind of swapping. So what we're gonna do is see how well this antenna resonates on two meter and 70 centimeter. So I'm gonna recall, and I believe I put this one on recall zero. Yeah. And you can see there at the bottom left, um, I started the sweep from 140 megahertz, and then on the right, I have it going to 450 megahertz. And right there on the right, where we have the little uh, downward arrow, we're at 1.32 SWR. So uh, the UHF uh, element is working phenomenally well. And then we can just scroll to the left little carrots bouncing around. All 
All right, that's close enough. So I have it at 146 megahertz, which puts us in the two meter band, and we're at 1.62. So these antennas are working as advertised. So be strong, be safe, and be prepared.